Sea Gray and I were flying along at flight level 390 in the G1000 Citation. And all of a sudden we said, hey, we've got an abnormal event. We've got our TAWS not available, which did make sense. So we went over to our MFD, checked our GPSs. They were strong, good signals. Uh, so then all of a sudden we were flying out, we lost our map. So the map off our MFD, that was the first sign that we had a problem. So we still have our FMS running because our flight plan there. And then we would then try to say, okay, let's go over and try to change chapters. The outer knob changes chapters. And you can see how it's very slow to respond. Sometimes it wouldn't respond. Then within the chapters, you can use this inner knob to change pages, and it wouldn't turn. See how it's very slow to turn? This was not working properly. And then sometimes when we moved the chapter, it would move pages within a group. It was very, doing some very odd things. So we said, okay, let's do the, uh, the clear button and, gar and Garmin. So on all the Garmin, you press the clear for, or the home for two seconds, come back. Still didn't get our map. We tried to regenerate it. We looked at the radar. So we have some failure within that MFD. So it's not an emergency. It's an abnormal event. We wanted to make sure we still could navigate. So, of course, we've got a great capability here of the flight plan, which is an awesome feature of the G-1000. We always keep it up so we can do that. So we got a hold of uh, air traffic control. Albuquerque can say, hey, we got a problem. We lost some of, one of our instruments. You have to notify them. And uh, we're going to head back. And uh, she said, if you need any assistance, we'll let you know. We're cool. And uh, so now we've headed back home. And now we're climbed up to 400 to head back to San Diego. And en route, while we're testing this to verify we didn't have any more serious problem, we would use the revolutionary mode, which uh, Tigray's talked about in some reels and other things we've done. You see that you see, uh, engine strip. And PFT comes up here. More importantly, since we're having an MFD problem, we want to make sure that we have our all the information we need on the PFT, which is the engine in particular. So then we tried that to see if that would help reboot it. MFD somehow to uh, do that generation. It doesn't. Charts didn't work. We checked all those things, so we went through all the components. For the avionics shop, what we wanted to do, we actually made a separate video to describe everything. We also went through the process of checking all the GIAs, everything else that's on the OX page. That's a real th important thing to do is give all the information you can for the, and you can see how it's moving very, very slow. Uh, we're coming through here. We come to the systems page in our LRUs. We came here to the LRUs and went down and scrolled down to all of them, made sure they were operational. Anything that we can do to supply help uh, to the shops. And then we come here and press clear again to see, hey, is there any way that we do this a few times, see if we get our map out? But we decided a long time we're heading back. It wasn't worth it to continue on. It's not an emergency. You know, it's nothing involved with any loss of control, autopilots working, all those work so we can stay up in our vehicle and we can still navigate. We're just navigating on a little different. Also the capability, of course, in through here. We can come through here and we can change, of course, to be a localizer or, or VOR and use that. So now we're coming back to our nav. We just swapped back. We're going to make sure we still have that nav on our autopilot up through here. So we we reinitialize that. So anytime you're checking your CDIs, remember this thing's going to go to uh, roll mode. So we always want to make sure and come back. You can simply press heading first, put it into heading mode, then go through and check. Right? Back to where you want, and then come back. So that's how we handle an um, abnormal event. No reason to get excited about things you're flying along, unless it's an absolutely true emergency you have to take care of in a couple of seconds. Uh, you just analyze the problem and, and come up with the best solution you can at, at the time. Why did you choose to not continue or even go to our first stop or destination? That's a good point, T. Gray. So we were out. I checked the fuel. We were at 2,300 pounds of fuel. So I have lots of fuel left. We could have continued to our destination, but where our destination is we're actually going to stop in Navasoto and then head on to Fort Lauderdale. So now we're going to be in an airport. We don't know the area. There are some storms they had. What happens if something gets worse? Right? Plus, you're going to be applied to me. It may be hard to get service, and you're away from home. So then you've got to deal with all that. So it was better to go back where the weather was is great back in SoCal. We know if we have any problems on the way back, we have a lot of options. We're away from the clouds. If we had total failure of this and we had to rely on standbys or something else like that, it wouldn't be a problem. But the, we have th three separate systems here. 
terms of displays, so I feel real confident we can do this. And we have our uh, well, problem. We've got our FMS. We lost all the FMS, all the GP for some reason. Got the old green needles, right? That's why I'm showing you in here. We can, we can do that. So that's a process um, that we've sort of decided upon, and it, so far it looks like it's uh, uh, the appropriate one for us today. As you, you can see, this is on the Personal Wings YouTube channel. So you can click down there, subscribe. We'll let you know uh, right away of all of our new videos. We have a lot on there, lots of aspects of aviation. Uh, as well as a new series we're coming up on uh, teaching Tigre's wife, Lola, to fly. So she got the bug, too. So, uh, another person in the Pickett family that's uh, going to get her license eventually. So thanks for watching. We also got our website, personalwings.com.